Hey, what is going on guys? I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror wirelessly your new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 directly to a LG Smart TV. Okay, very, very simple. So first thing is make sure you have your Smart LG TV on. In regards to the uh, Wi-Fi or internet, it doesn't matter if your, phone, if your TV is hooked up to the internet. It doesn't even matter if your phone's hooked up to the internet. Okay, now the thing is if you want to be able to surf the internet while you're uh, bringing the big picture onto the TV, then you would need to be on the home Wi-Fi network on the phone, or you can use your mobile uh, data as well. This connection is a Wi-Fi direct, not a home Wi-Fi uh, network connection, okay? So anyways, grab your uh, Note 10 here, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and scroll down to the notifications, and then again, you see this little horizontal line, scroll down again, and then from here, we want to look for, not screen mirror, but we want to look for smart view. It's not on this page here. Go ahead and slide to the left. And where is smart view? It should be, there it is right here. Here's smart view. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. Now the thing is, you do have to have your Wi-Fi on, okay? So let me just scroll down here. Let me tap on that. Let me just go into my Wi-Fi here. And now you can see if I tap my Wi-Fi here, now your Wi-Fi only has to be on. You don't necessarily have to be connected to a home Wi-Fi network unless you want to be able to surf the net as you're um, mirroring to the big screen, okay? Anyways, I am connected to a home Wi-Fi network here. And again, we'll go to the uh, smart view here. Oops, let me scroll down again. Now I have to slide to the left. Here's smart view. Let me tap on that and it should find my LG. Oh, it just found it right away. My first time connecting to this LG TV. Let me tap on that. The first time that you connect to your LG TV, this will pop on here. Galaxy Note Quest request screen mirror, mirroring to your uh, TV. Do you want to continue? Select yes, go ahead and grab your remote. Tap on that. Give it a second here. It says right here it is connecting. Give it a second here. Okay, for some reason I just got disconnected. Let me do that again. Let me scroll down here, scroll down again. Let me slide to the left and let's put on smart view again. And let's see, what, okay, so here's my LG smart TV. Okay, now, okay, there we go. And you can change the aspect ratio down here. You can change as well, okay? Anyways, you can see the screen here. Everything is mirrored here. I can go ahead and go to a browser here. Of course, I wanna be able to surf the internet, then I must be on a home Wi-Fi network on the phone or mobile data, okay? Because it's gonna be using your internet through your phone, nothing to do with the TV. Anyways, here is a browser here. Let me go ahead and turn it over. We can go ahead and put it in portrait mode as well. You can play games and whatnot. Um, you can show presentations, uh, Word documents for work or Excel. Even if we go into the uh, photo gallery here, let's go into the photo gallery here and gallery right here and I'll show you some um, videos and photos that are stored locally locally on here of course you don't need uh, any home Wi-Fi network or uh, data mobile data or anything like that to show your photos and videos at a big screen anyway here is a video right here let me turn this over let me go ahead and press on play Ooh, let me allow that let me increase the volume Okay, now the thing is you can increase and decrease the volume from the phone itself. And take note, the volume will come out of the TV, will not come out from the phone. Let me play this again. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and if we go back here, I'll show you a photo here. Top on a photo and you can see. And of course I can zoom in and out here. Now, in regards to playing the games, the thing is because it is a wireless connection, you may notice like a little bit of latency. It may be a delay, like a fraction of a second. So if you're playing something graphic intensive, I wouldn't recommend using the uh, wireless screen mirror function here. I would recommend something like a cable here. It's a 4K cable. Uh, it's uh, you connect to the HDMI port on the back of your TV. So it's HDMI to USB type C. And then this one here, I mean, it, let me go ahead and disconnect from the screen mirror. Let me just go back here and we'll go to the smart view here and I will go ahead and 
Okay, so the smart view turns into the name of your TV, so mine says LG here. Let me go ahead and disconnect from there. And then again, if you want something with less latency, then you use a direct cable here. You just grab it and it, you just plug it in. You gotta make sure you're on the correct HDMI port where this cable is hooked up to. This one is on the HDMI one. So let me go ahead and grab my remote here and let me go into the correct HDMI port. I think I think it's on one. So let me, I have one, uh, let me try HDMI one. It might be on my PS4. And let me see if that's it. Okay, yeah, so basically when I have it to the correct HDMI port, I just grab my cable anytime I want to plug it in. I just plug it in and automatically it should fire up here. There you go. You're ready to rock and roll. Any questions? Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.